二零二零年九月十八日，美国国家海洋及大气管理局表示，八月份美国四场自然灾难各造成超过十亿美元嘅经济损失，合共超过四十亿美元，分别系中西部强对流天气嘅德雷科风暴、飓风伊萨亚斯、热带风暴罗拉，以及加州嘅野火。十一月八日，卫浴发出报告，指二零二零年美国第三度自然灾害频生。经济损失达到至二零一七年第三季度以嚟最高嘅水平，总额可能达到二百五十亿美元，打破数十年嘅平均水平。当中尚未计算新冠疫情嘅相关损失，最终总额可能超出国财险公司嘅预估，对行业全年收益构成进一步压力。部分保险公司已经预先公布本年第三季度灾难预测，主要包括伊萨亚斯飓风、罗拉飓风、萨利飓风、德雷科风暴。加利福尼亚州以及俄勒冈州嘅山火等，其中罗拉飓风系最大损失来源，损失预计大约一百一十至一百五十亿美元。另一方面，今年大西洋嘅飓风季节亦都相当热闹。继九月十八日热带风暴威尔弗雷德 （Wilfred） 喺东大西洋海域形成，同时亦都标记住二零二零年大西洋风季嘅预先名字，经已耗尽。因为美国国家飓风中心。每年都会以 A 至 W 字为首，为每年大西洋风暴预示名字。当热带风暴威尔弗雷德 （Wilfred） 形成之后，亦就系今年大西洋飓风名字表入面最后一个。同日形成嘅另一个风暴，即系命名为 Alpha。呢个系继二零零五年之后，大西洋历代风季入面第二次需要用到后备嘅希列字母名字。此外，今年大西洋飓风季系有纪录以嚟第一次喺八月之前生成九个热带风暴。九月前更加系达到十三个。与此同时，单单计算九月份，单个月已经形成十个热带风暴，创下单月最多热带风暴生成嘅纪录。截至二零二零年十一月十二日，继原定最后一个名字威尔弗雷德 r e l f a t 被使用之后，不足两个月，然后被希列字母嘅名字都已经用咗第八个，分别系副热带风暴阿尔法、热带风暴贝塔、热带风暴伽马、飓风德尔塔、飓风艾普失朗。飓风泽塔、飓风伊塔、热带风暴失塔，可见今年大西洋风季确实劲唔寻常，势必打破美国自然灾害损失嘅历史纪录。继大西洋共二十九个风暴打破二零零五年旧纪录之外，与此同时，当地今年共有十二个风暴登陆，亦打破咗一九一六年九个风暴登陆嘅纪录。十月十四日，联合国减少灾害风险办公室公布，喺二千年至二零一九年。近二十年间，共发生咗七千三百四十八场重大自然灾害，海啸以及飓风等自然灾难，共夺走咗一百二十三万人嘅性命，影响咗四十二亿人口，造成咗二点九七兆美元嘅全球经济损失。根据联合国报告，二千至二零一九年嘅灾难人类成本，显示近二十年嘅大自然灾害，几乎喺一九八零年至一九九九年间，四千二百一十二场灾难嘅两倍。呢、这个灾难绝大多数都系与气候有关。研究人员指，过去二十年间，洪水、暴风雨、干旱、热浪、飓风同埋野火大大增加，当中以亚洲最为严重。呢、这个期间共遭受咗三千零六十八场灾难，其次系美洲一千七百五十六场灾难，以及非洲一千一百九十二场灾难。受灾最严重嘅国家系中国，经历咗五百多次自然灾害，其次系美国，发生咗四百六十七次灾难。最致命嘅事件系二零一零年嘅海地地震，造成超过二十七万人死亡，四十八万人失去家园，三百七十万人受灾。十月一日，一个低气压喺加勒比海中西部生成，美国海军研究实验室给予扰动编号九十一 L， 九十一正系日华牧师生日嘅共同信息。十月三日上午八时，国家飓风中心将其升格为热带风暴，命名为伽马。十月四日凌晨一时，加马喺墨西哥东南部旅游区图卢姆附近嘅尤卡坦半岛东北部登陆，带嚟强降雨。墨西哥安全部门公布，加马造成三百多处道路阻断，超过一点三九万栋建筑渗水。相关部门已经撤离超过五千名受灾民众。东南部六州已经启动八十多处临时避难所。加马登陆之后，造成至少七人遇难，超过六十万人受影响。
And tropical storm Gamma made landfall on Mexico's Gulf Coast over the weekend. The strong winds and heavy rains. Gamma caused significant flooding and destruction in the Mexican states of Quintana Roo and Tabasco. As the storm moves north, authorities worry that additional jam damage may occur. 十月三日,一個大型壓在加勒比海東部生成。美國海軍研究實驗室給予搖動偏好90ER。a potential disaster is brewing and headed to the Gulf, a major Category 4 storm, and that one is named Delta. Right now it's churning toward the Yucatan Peninsula and the western tip of Cuba. When it's, then it's projected to head into the Gulf of Mexico before targeting the battered northern Gulf Coast with landfall sometime Friday. Today the Louisiana governor declared a state of emergency for what will be the 10th named storm to make landfall this season the most ever recorded. 10月7日晚上6時30分,颶風第二塔在猶卡坦半島東北部登陸,大量樹木被吹倒,電力供應受影響。已經有3.9萬人從猶卡坦半島以及金塔納羅澳收市來,約2400人入住避難所站備,數十萬人受影響。第二塔達到第二次天風,風速達到每小時150公里,氣壓為93百帕,先行北,再向東北移動。美國國家颶風中心警告,強風或許會為德州海外蘭,至密西西比州歐辛斯普林斯一大居民構成生命威脅,並為
Winds up to 100 miles per hour. This is the 10th named storm to hit the U.S. this season alone. That's an all-time record, the fourth to slam into Louisiana this year. They are very worried about a dangerous storm surge in the coming hours, and ahead of this storm, the urgent rush to safer ground causing traffic jams on the roads out of Lake Charles. The route to Houston, two and a half hours or so, taking at least 10 hours for some. The Lake Charles Hospital evacuating its smallest patients from the neonatal intensive care unit. The hurricane's outer bands late today already threatening the blue tarps that cover homes already damaged weeks ago by Hurricane Laura. Fierce winds and giant waves as the hurricane moves in, flooding already tonight. An anxious night ahead for millions. Ginger Z, Rob Marciano, both live from Louisiana tonight. We're going to begin with Rob in Lake Charles, where, Rob, you told us last night, so many of the homes with roofs torn off already and families hoping the second blow doesn't do them in completely. So tough, David. It's hard to believe that it's happening again. Another hurricane hitting the U.S., a second one here in Lake Charles. Those big trucks you see behind me, they're recovery and utility vehicles that have been working here for weeks trying to put this town back together. And now Hurricane Delta's eye is coming ashore and southwest Louisiana is getting slammed again. Tonight, Hurricane Delta is making a record-breaking landfall in southwest Louisiana. Pounding waves and howling wind. Up to 11 feet of storm surge in spots. This is a big storm. We've got winds of 115 miles per hour. Oh! Lake Charles took a direct hit from Category 4 Hurricane Laura just six weeks ago. One of the most powerful storms to ever hit the U.S. Many homes still covered in blue tarps as families rebuild. Debris still piled up in neighborhoods. The winds are picking up now here in Lake Charles and with these debris piles all over the city, they're filled with razor sharp aluminum, wood with rusty nails that with that eye wall coming through could all be airborne. Delta's effects felt from Louisiana all the way to Texas tonight. The hurricane's landfall making history as the 10th named storm to hit the U.S. in a single season. All right, so let's get right back to Rob, because I know you're getting uh, hammered. This is really worsened and quickly in just the last hour. Yeah, we're getting about to get the eye wall in its full force, David. You know, the last two hurricanes, big ones that came through here, they came in the middle of the night, which is always scarier. This one coming mostly during the day, but the sheriff's saying today, not necessarily good. His guys have to wait until the winds die down. That won't happen until midnight. So first responders will have to go in out in more dangerous conditions to anyone that may need their help. The dangerous storm surge over nine feet in some places. And this is the record 10th named storm to hit the U.S. this hurricane season. We have team coverage on the ground in hard hit Louisiana where more than half a million people are now waking up without power. We've officially done it. Five land falling hurricanes of those 10 land falling storms. That is a feat we have not made since 2005 in that epic season. And if you look behind me, these are the streets of Lafayette just covered in tree debris. Uh, the power only on on this street, but almost everyone out of power, and it is so much worse just to our west. That same area that feels like Delta was just the punch while they were already knocked out by Laura 44 days ago. That is the sound of Hurricane Delta just before making landfall in Creole, Louisiana. A Category 2 hurricane when it roared on shore, healing roofs off of buildings. Waves and surge lapping at the land in Lake Arthur. Up to 17 inches of torrential wind whipped rain. Those winds gusting to 100 miles per hour. The destructive force lashing buildings, snapping utility poles. Leaving hundreds of thousands without power across Louisiana and Texas. The fierce winds tossing this mobile home right onto the road and knocking this tractor trailer onto its side. Delta's broad push of water forcing storm surge up to nine feet near freshwater canal locks. The storm flooding low-lying neighborhoods in Welsh. What's left of Delta now rocketing inland with rain and gusting winds in Arkansas and Mississippi. Louisiana's governor warning folks though not to let their guard down. Treat every power line that's down as if it's live. Don't go out sightseeing. This time-lapse video from Lake Charles showing just how quickly conditions worsen. Just before landfall, the relative cooler water near the coast and wind shear shredding the storm. Believe it or not, this is the eye of what's left of Delta. I mean, we still have a hurricane, and this is not what a hurricane or a tropical storm eye looks like. I've been in many of them where the winds are calm, everything goes clear, and at night you can even see the stars. That is not happening tonight because this storm got sheared and ripped apart 
and it is the epitome of what we call a dirty eye. And just to my west in Lake Charles, Rob Marciano, right there in that town already hit so hard just six weeks ago in Hurricane Laura. 十月二十三日，位于加勒比海西部嘅宽阔低压槽生成，美国海军研究实验室给予扰动编号九十五 L。十月二十五日。国家飓风中心将其升格为热带风暴，命名为泽塔。十月二十六日，墨西哥当局警告居民及游客留喺室内避难，严防本月第二个侵袭加勒比海沿岸嘅飓风。由卡坦半岛度假城市坎昆嘅居民，除咗囤积杂货，亦用木材及胶带固定窗户。BP 英国石油公司表示，因应热带风暴泽塔喺加勒比海肆虐。公司開始撤出四個海上石油平台及安全設施。十月二十七日下午，澤塔喺墨西哥東部由卡坦半島登陸。同日，美國國家颶風中心表示，澤塔橫越墨西哥由卡坦半島之後，最高持續風速為每小時一百零五公里，向東北偏北方向喺路易斯安那州東部一帶登陸。面對颶風威脅，新奧爾良發公告，指當地會對提巴以外地區實施自愿撤離。并警告市内多地将经历强风暴雨，沿岸洪水将达一点二至一点八米。十月二十九日凌晨二时，国家飓风中心将泽塔升格为二级飓风。泽塔于路易斯安那州南部登陆，狂风暴雨导致该州及墨西西比州停电，近四十万户受影响。新奥尔良接到超过二百宗树木倒塌个案，工人为防水位上涨，喺码头低洼地区以多辆车卸载沙粒。一名五十五岁男子遭倒塌嘅供电线电死，成为泽塔登陆后嘅首名死者。此外，圣奥尔良大都会区更有大量建筑物损毁。州长爱德华兹提醒民众可外出进行灾后修复工作，但需戴上口罩。飓风泽塔以为墨西哥湾沿岸地区带嚟最高二点七米嘅水位上涨，最高持续风速为每小时一百三十公里。泽塔横扫墨西西比州部分地区。及阿拉巴马州沿岸，导致至少六人死亡，及造成南部逾二百六十万户家庭及企业断电。The hurricane slamming into the U.S. at this hour. Authorities tonight urging millions to take this seriously, not to let your guard down. Warnings into the Carolinas. This will then move quickly and bring storms all the way up into the Northeast. Hurricane Zeta with 110 mile an hour winds and a life threatening storm surge for hundreds of miles. Let's get right to senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. They're getting hit in New Orleans at this hour. Rob. We are, David. The eye wall of Hurricane Zeta right now is cutting into New Orleans. We've already had winds gusting over 100 miles an hour south of here. You can see the winds ripping down Canal Street, punishing those giant palm trees. All season, New Orleans has been threatened, but tonight, this city is taking a direct hit. Tonight, fast-moving Hurricane Zeta slamming the Gulf Coast. High winds and surging waves as families hunker down. Here comes Zeta, ripping ashore in southeast Louisiana, the third hurricane to make landfall in the state in just two months. This time, New Orleans is going to take a direct hit. This is not a drill. We do expect directly impacting the city of New Orleans. The city closing its massive floodgates. What a situation playing out tonight, Rob. We can see you're getting slammed right now. Best you can take us through the timing of this as we head into the night. Well, it's the, str it's the strongest storm we've had this late in the season make landfall in over 100 years, David. It's moving quickly, so that means that's good, and that'll get through it quick, but it's going to hit a huge portion of the U.S. Look at this. This morning, coastal communities waking up to devastation yet again. We've got a two-foot swell in here. This time, Hurricane Zeta, a Category Two storm, pummeling the already battered Louisiana coastline. The fast-moving hurricane made a beeline for New Orleans and never wavered, rolling in with wind gusts topping 100 miles an hour. Although we have made it through, we have been damaged. We have been hit. The destructive winds and heavy rain soaking the Gulf Coast from Louisiana to Alabama, including Mississippi, where cars were swamped in this Biloxi parking garage. Trees toppled, boats tossed inland, and countless homes all taking a big hit from the 11th hurricane to make landfall this year—a record. It was kind of scary for me. Zeta's rapid growth seen all the way from the International Space Station, swelling to a near Category Three just before making landfall. In New Orleans, extra floodgates were shut as early as noon on Wednesday, 
hoping to thwart the inevitable. You've got a number of different systems that have to come together to work to keep New Orleans safe and dry. Robbie Orgeron owns Felix's Seafood Restaurant in New Orleans. He's had to close nine times this year. This is by far the most challenging, stressful year yet. A region beaten and battered by Mother Nature, ready for 2020 to finally end. When is it going to stop? <laughs> when is it going to stop? And this morning, the governor of Louisiana expected to tour the worst of the damage today. This storm is now the worst to hit the state of Louisiana this late into a hurricane season. 十月三十日，一个低气压在安德烈斯附近生成。美国海军研究实验室给予扰动偏好九十六 L。十一月一日，美国国家飓风中心将其升格为热带风暴，命名为伊塔，系希列文中第七个字母。随后被升格为二级飓风。十一月三日凌晨二时，伊塔先被升格为三级飓风，后再升为四级，系二零二零年大西洋飓风季第二十八个被命名嘅风暴，亦都系今年大西洋第十二个飓风及第四个四级飓风。十一月四日上午五时，伊塔以四级威力登陆中美洲尼加拉瓜嘅卡贝萨斯港，为当地造成土石流，六万人供电受影响，至少三人丧命。伊塔系多年嚟袭击中美洲嘅最猛烈风暴之一。美国国家飓风中心警告，呢个极度危险嘅飓风风速达到每小时二百四十公里，向中美洲推移，预计将出现极端嘅暴潮、强风、暴洪及土石流等灾情。Hurricane Eta plowed into Nicaragua on Tuesday, one of the most powerful storms to hit Central America in years. The Category f storm battered homes. Pried rooftops away, knocked down trees and power lines, and caused devastating flooding in the region. The U.S. National Hurricane Center estimated that the storm's winds hit 140 miles per hour. Marina Huker was evacuated to a shelter in the city of Puerto Cabezas, where Eta came ashore. Of course, we are nervous. This is not a game. This is something that's going to attack us, and the lives of our family members in other places might be lost. UNICEF estimated that 1.2 million people in Nicaragua were at risk from the storm's fury, and the country evacuated at least 3,000 families living in vulnerable communities on Monday. In neighboring Honduras, rivers burst their banks, towns and cities on the coast flooded, and landslides hit roads. State officials reported a 13-year-old girl died in a mudslide. The eye of the storm is forecast to move north and hit central Honduras on Thursday. Models show the storm crossing over Cuba and approaching the Florida Panhandle this weekend. 十一月四日，四级飓风伊塔减弱至热带风暴，继续吹袭中美洲，为危地马拉带嚟狂风暴雨、水浸及山泥倾泻，部分地区水深及湍，救援人员需涉水以船只救出灾民。伊塔至少造成一百人死亡。大家確實冇聽錯，颶風伊塔為危地馬拉帶嚟暴雨，導致至少一百人死亡。其中，危地馬拉中部黑哈發生山泥傾瀉，一百五十間房屋被埋。軍方人員表示，單單只計黑哈已經有約一百人死亡。危地馬拉總統簡馬泰表示，東部城市巴里奧斯港六成土地水浸，唔排除死亡人數會繼續上升。Guatemalan troops rescued survivors stranded on roofs on Friday in a remote mountainous area of Alta Verapaz. Heavy rains from the remnants of Hurricane Heda have caused a massive mudslide that authorities say might have killed a hundred people. No official. In a news conference, President Alejandro Jammate said it will be days before the true toll of the storm is known. This morning we had four dead, but unfortunately that figure went up to 50 after mudslides took place in Huahuatenango and San Cristobal. We are trying to reach those areas by foot because we can't get there any other way. Roads have been cut off. It's thought many of the dead were buried in their homes in the village of Queja. About 150 houses have been swallowed by mudslides there. Excellent, excellent. In western Honduras, high winds and heavy rain have also damaged thousands of homes, killing dozens. On Friday, residents gathered to retrieve their belongings from the debris. I'm in pain because I have lost everything. I've been struggling for years to have my house, and now I'm left on the streets. It's sad. God has to give me something better. 
Rescue operations across much of Central America have been slowed by destroyed roads and bridges. Evacuation orders remain in place in parts of Honduras as flooding was still a possibility. 另外，颶風伊塔喺洪都拉斯造成十三人死亡，雖然暴雨已停，但水位仍未減退，導致災情十分嚴重，數百人被困屋頂。當局派出直升機同埋快艇到重災區救援，約五百人被撤離至安全處。伊塔喺巴拿馬、洪都拉斯、墨西哥、哥斯達黎加及尼加拉瓜等國。带嚟严重破坏，死亡人数至少增至一百五十人，超过五千人撤离。接壤危地马拉嘅墨西哥、黑柏斯州，洪水造成堤岸决堤，多人被冲走，造成十九人死亡。洪都拉斯有二十三人死亡，二人失踪，多人受困屋顶挨饿，另有一点六万人获救。十一月十一日，国际红十字会表示，中美洲因飓风伊塔带嚟嘅洪灾，导致二百多人死亡，数百人失踪。成千上万人被疏散，受影响人数达二百五十万。红十字会同埋红新月会国际联合会美洲负责人解释，洪都拉斯及危地马拉嘅情况特别危急，伊塔所带嚟嘅毁灭性灾难，仅喺洪都拉斯已影响一百七十万人，当中有好多妇女、孩童及原住民团体，佢哋失去咗一切，甚至冇饮用水同埋食物，部分社区嘅家庭正喺度饮用已污染嘅水源，佢哋迫切需要援助。十一月八日下午，飓风伊塔喺古巴圣斯皮里图斯省登陆，古巴撤离数十万人。同日，飓风伊塔喺佛罗里达州下马泰坎白礁岛登陆，再度增强喺墨西哥湾东南部造成破坏，并移往佛罗里达岛礁，为南佛州带嚟庞大雨水，造成洪水泛滥，多处街道及社区淹水，有雨水乡泽国，有十五万户失去电力。电力公司表示。雨势影响下修复工作需时。伊塔外围最恶劣嘅气流跨越全州，好多地区降雨量超过一尺，淹没咗包尔郡同埋迈阿密大德郡数十个社区South Florida faced major flooding today as Tropical Storm Eta blew past. Whole neighborhoods were swamped after the storm crossed the Florida Keys overnight and veered into the Gulf of Mexico. Rain bands dumped up to a foot of water, taking people by surprise. Never seen this. Never. Not this deep period. I mean, it, it'll settle a little bit there, but a few hours is gone. But this. The storm already killed dozens in Mexico and Central America, and left more than 100 missing. It's expected to strengthen into a hurricane again before striking northeastern Florida next weekend. 显然，今年大西洋破纪录嘅风季确实极不寻常。近十多年间，全球大自然灾害，明证我哋已经身处启示录时代，完全印证二零一二荣耀盼望瞬息嘅准确性。因为我哋眼前一个接一个破纪录风暴，重创全球沿岸城市，留下满目疮痍嘅惨况，完全系应验十一年前日和牧师透过二零一二信息给予全世界嘅警告。当神秘嘅 Planet X 逐渐逼近地球，地球内部嘅能量就会不断增加，与世界各地产生一个接一个庞大风暴，形成启示录预言嘅四风，成为神给予世人嘅审判。<音>